Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the permadeath run of Geoffrey de Loor, an Borsmore sniper, an archer who's trying to live his life uh, in Skyrim. Oh, come on. Don't interrupt me when I'm doing my intro, dude. Anyways, as I was saying, <clears throat> we have successfully done uh, Black Falls Barrow and we are now going into our first uh, dragon combat. Normally, <clears throat> I wouldn't do the whole dragonborn stuff, and I still don't want him to be the dragonborn, so we're going to refluff the whole situation. <sighs> Please, by the love of Talos. We're still going to uh, do the um, uh, dragon fight nonetheless, but we're simply not the dragon uh, born. I want him to be a normal guy uh, who is now working together with the army in order to get the uh, battle done against uh, the first dragon. So join me when we're doing that. And afterwards I got some uh, interesting uh, further gameplay in stock because we're going to get equipment for Joffrey. Uh, his armor is a bit outdated and I figured uh, might as well be a fantastic time to upgrade that. So, enough narrative. Even the dog agrees. And we have arrived at the good old outpost. Time to fight our first dragon. And since it's going to be a fire dragon, I want to make sure that just in case something isn't going well, might as well drink that fire resistance. save us. Here he comes again. Yep, you guys, no, 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 you're standing outside. Good. The name of the game will be staying inside and don't get blocked by these idiots. That's a solid hit. I would still assume that his breath could one shot KO us. Matter of fact, all of his attacks would one shot KO us. Luckily, we got a main tank. Uh, that is going to take the brunt of the dragon's attacks for us. And for once we're a dedicated archer build. Nope, no hit. See, you stupid idiots, that's why you don't stand outside. They blocked me and almost pushed me to the outside, but luckily we could go back in. Well, now not many members are left. Good. Let's hope uh, she can continue to tank him for a bit. 
because that's not a given and why are you still pushing me outside Your hits for 800, 1100, and he's still going strong. Well, now we do have a problem. Can't get hit by one of those breath attacks. Staying behind the wall all the time. He's too weak to get back up. Uh oh. Almost got him. Couple of arrows. Nice ebony arrow for shock. And he ate a guard. <laughs> Good. So you guys know the drill. That means we are officially capable of absorbing dragon souls. I like the armor. I think ours is better. Um, yeah, ours is slightly better and has... And has stats on it. So, plenty of casualties all around. Some of them couldn't even use their potions. In the very that's what you did, isn't it? There's only according to the old legend, only the dragonborn. Good. Uh, we got unrelenting uh, force as a shout now, and we already mentioned that this is going to be um, our main shout or the only shout that we can use. Uh, we're not the dragonborn. I, I, I'm pretty adamant on that one. I want to play a normal character, but one that can use a single shout. So we're focusing on unrelenting force and unrelenting force only. Now, I promise you that we want to get some equipment of we All right, we're joining again in the uh, deep wood readout. I want to get to Heg's end where a set of armor is located. That could be quite helpful for us. Unfortunately, there are a few Forespawn that are in the way. We haven't fought Forespawn so far, but I can tell you they are dangerous. Specifically, their poisoning skills, which is why we brought 
resist poison with us. A little semi melee action against uh, the guards out here. Fifty six. Is that an upgrade to our bow? No. No, no, no. They are dealing most of their damage, as always, uh, just by poisoning their weapons, so. That'll be a massive amount of damage coming in if we get hit. Luckily for us, Forsworn are all attack zero defense. So if we can find ourselves being able to uh, hit them before they hit us, we are fine. I just realized, though, so this is not hex end. So we'll need to find an entrance. Pretty sure the entrance was around here. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, so I can sometimes it helps to just follow the indicator. Good, we're inside. Time to make this count. We got our resist poison going. This is quite a trapped dungeon. There's one trap here. And I just need a clear shot. Okay, cool. One down. Multiple force warrants up there. Oh boy, they hurt. Even with our poison resistance. Good. Luckily, all of them seem to be ranged. And luckily, they seem to be taking cover, so just reducing the number of archers that we fight against. Let's see, uh, I still could use a bit more food. Funnily enough, these guys seem to have no arrows on them. Oh, because I auto-looted them beforehand. Good, let's... I don't want to risk getting one shot. Let's just heal up for now. Dangerous room here. We gotta take care of that. Is another one. Super trap riddled uh, room. Key, and that's valuable. What a nice place to lay lay your rest right next to a corpse. Good. 
I think we already had the key, but there is another one. One more down. And two more down. Good. That's why you always walk alongside the walls to not get hit by the traps. Good, no skill books here. Let's just double check our buffs. I definitely would like another resist piercing. Fortify health is good. We have uh, we drank quite a few there. Healing portress is good. We have more than enough food. Might as well eat one. Just refresh that. And how is our toxicity level looking? Got more room for one more potion, which is good because that's the healing one that we need. Here we go. Okay, time to fortify marksman strength. Get the biggest bow out. And those of you who have seen episode one of Diaries of Death, Hamza, chosen of Devella, has been here and had to deal with that location together with Aya. Getting the right angle here. Still not. I think I'm too low on the arrow drop. There we go. Finally. Gotta be really careful. He's going to pull the entirety of the can. Not optimal. Okay, overall solid hits, <clears throat> most of the shots with the exception of the very beginning were hitting. Some of food to consume, I think we want to go for different arrows. And I would like another fortified marksman strength potion.
Unfortunately, that still doesn't kill them immediately. I was hoping we could go for a one-shot uh, with that improved uh, fortified archery potion. But that has not been the case. Fun fact for the Forsworn, they absolutely love to backstep you. So what we need to do is make sure that every single one of them actually is dead. Yeah, they are hiding. They love to hide. Uh, then just stand up and you start having a problem. We have a couple of soul gems and I think... I think our goddess does not condemn us soul jamming enemies, so might as well reap some souls. Oh, come on. Psych. What the hell is going on? Only took us like what seven tries, and we don't even need Oricalcum. Yeah, we don't have large enough soul gems to store their souls, but that's okay. We wouldn't have been using um, the poison anyways. Okay, so that was a higher level one. Briarheart, we definitely could use that. Well added level, not sure if we will have uh, the stamina to go through that one. Great. Imperial Bow of Snares. Soul Gems for 5 seconds. 
Wow, that's cool. I like it. I'll come back to that a bit uh, later. Potion of healing, certainly helpful. And typically there is kind of a skill book around, but apparently not this time. Your longbows, your iron arrows. We're going with another Fortify Marksman Strength. Good, now we come to the part where it gets a bit more difficult and tricky. We need to fight casters. Well, that starts not very well. She's uh, the mother hack. She's the one that we actually need to fight. Five volt. Now we're taking a bit of this and a bit of that. And no, we don't need ma uh, mana regeneration. We're okay. I would like to get some poison though. Straight ahead is a trap. Up here, however. Nicely trapped as well. Oh, wow, cool. They are going back and forth. Okay, cool. Well, you lose. So where exactly were you coming from, milady? Backstabbing pieces of hmm. So this is where we want to go. Uh, we can open that later. For now, let's use the resist magic. to check out uh, where I am. Cool, so we're going to loot that in a second. like to use Dwarven Arrows for now, getting all of the... You know what? We don't need armor penetration, we need flat damage, so that's just as good.
Resist fire potion. And let's do this. Okay, so this should be the final fight here. Oh, easy! The frost uh, bite spider dances with our doggo. Or with a troll? Yeah, maybe with a troll. Okay, so we need fire arrow. Steel arrow, fire. There we go. <laughs> oh. I'll be back for round number two. So it seems as if the troll has moved in with us. We still got a few arrows of fire. I just need space to kite. And mainly fire. Troll done. Back to steel arrows. And I completely forgot the entire time that I do have it. Should have used it to push him away. We can use uh, that for great poison. And we take her key. The feathers are helpful. Could also use the claw, but I don't need that right now. Here's the well-deserved boss chest. Almost. Come on, Saiken. There we go. Necklace, uh, necklace of Major Health. 28 hit points is really good. That will make us way more tanky. So we'd be looking at sizable increase. This one here is good as well. Hundred and fifty armor, however, as it stands is still important before we we will get an armor upgrade now. So let me show you what we what 
originally came here for all of this is fine and good. Doing a Forsworn dungeon for experience, fantastic. Also, it's a great dungeon, so don't get me wrong. But we are here for a very special reason. What a nice uh, dwarven battle axe. Oh yeah, that one was very much trapped. But we weren't really lucky with our drops here, but where we really need to go is all the way back there. And I need to remember how you were opening this. I thought it was on the back of the altar, but I might have been wrong. Let me look this up. Good, so we finally managed to get into the room, and uh, that is Togo, for once, please. And that is where we are finding the armor set uh, that I was hoping to get. It was a major ring of restoration, so in terms of armor set, the uh, coil, uh, it's kind of an, uh, the advanced armor set of the Dark Brotherhood. If you uh, use the quest starter that I used, you can uh, get through it even without being in the Dark Brotherhood. Um, but it's a bit messy to get uh, the, uh, the quest started uh, to begin with. But once that is going, it's essentially a way of getting a decent set of armor. Uh, there would be in Requiem a couple of other sets uh, and I'm happy if you're interested in just how to get them uh, to kind of lead uh, through that. It's um, One other one is the set of the Old Gods uh, from the Force One Conspiracy, which you could uh, use uh, specifically the, um, the gloves there are increasing the, um, uh, the ranged attack. And there is um, another set uh, that I also looked uh, looked up uh, from uh, a potential target that you would assassinate throughout the Dark Brotherhood questline. But uh, you could uh, you might as well uh, visit him since he's a bandit. He would be aggressive. Uh, and unfortunately, all of the other really good uh, sniper related ones spawn within the uh, Dark Brotherhood. But there are also other ways of getting adequate armor, so that's by no means the only one. I figured it would be a cool one to show this one here off. So, Ancient Shrouded Call, uh, call. Uh, the Illusion spells do, uh, do not do anything for us, but damage done with ranged weapon 25% is good. Uh, the Haggling certainly is um, well liked, and the additional magic resistance is great. Then we got uh, the main piece which is 75% uh, uh, disease and 75% poison resistance. Uh, re reduction of magicka and stamina loss when hit by 50%. 15% res uh, magical resistance, increases the stamina by 50 uh, points and immune to most slow effect. Also 30 health on top of it, uh, which is an F tweaks modification and um, Im immune to paralyze effects, plus sneaking is improved and um, there is an improved carry capacity. The original set in Requiem uh, has 100% disease resistance, 100% poison resistance, 20% metric resistance, a similar amount of uh, stamina, slow reduction, and uh, extra armor when you wear the entire set. So um, not bad this year, whereas the uh, renders the wearer inaudible, which is great. 50 uh, extra stamina, which isn't bad as well. Immunity to slow effects, uh, faster stamina regeneration, and 
they essentially in f tweaks moved uh, the magic resistance to the uh, other set pieces and this here is super good uh, getting armor penetration on top of it so it's really a solid um, uh, piece of armor all around and with it uh, we're clocking 50 magic resistance uh, as a base which is really really good i am thinking about um, still getting um, a even slight arguably slight increase um, for the uh, for the chest piece uh, let's shortly see if we got anything else no that's fine Shrouded Armor full set gives uh, 30 additional armor. And we would be at 580, which is good, which is really good. Um, I could go down to 430, which was our previous rating. That's around a 50% uh, reduction. And we could uh, take additional ranged damage dealt plus 20% and uh, more stamina. Uh, we are already immune to slow effects, but I figure I actually like the idea of that peerless, uh, mm, uh, peerless knight at the moment. The 150 armor, in our case, can make a decent uh, difference. If we even chuck a potion of armor on top of it, we're nearing that like 700, uh, which is almost uh, full armor type. Uh, and 50 magic resistance is not bad. Um, certainly an amulet of magic resist would be better and I think I'm also getting uh, going to show you in the next episode how we go um, for um, a better chest upgrade uh, so that we uh, can get even more magical uh, resistance we're a bit low on the elemental resistances but such as um, our build at the moment yeah, we're keeping the ring of uh, resist magic i think that's helpful at the moment um yeah that's really it let's just double check i think we wanted to increase skills so marksmanship first and foremost that's the main bread and butter of our build got all the way to 60 which is huge that's exactly what we were looking for. Uh, the other topic is smithing, which we wanted to get to 50. ASAP. Yeah, almost, almost uh, there. So, did a bit of a level up. Going more and more for health now. So that becomes important. Smithing, uh, I want arcane craftsmanship, so that'll be two points. Uh, advanced blacksmithing, arcane craftsmanship. And marksman, this year will be huge 50% um, draw speed with both. Uh, both will give us a massive tempo advantage that's cool that's also cool but it requires way more investment I think we're okay on the marksman side at the moment here we could uh, take uh, deal more evasion uh, mm, uh, go deeper into evasion to have a better power attack not using that a uh, whole lot, I must admit, at the moment. Uh, we could go a bit more into melee. Yeah, we're going to save the next two perks uh, quite literally for advanced blacksmithing, uh, arcane craftsmanship, and potentially legendary bra uh, blacksmithing. But that requires 100, so let's not even think about it. Good. Build is really perk, uh, li perk light, which I appreciate. I've shown a couple of heavier perk uh, builds, but this one here is actually quite light. And we do have plenty of options uh, to go into different stuff. Maybe I'll do a bit more one hand as we, as we see fit going forward. Uh, just out of curiosity, if I have the shield, 
like in melee at the moment. We're rocking a solid 700 armor. That's not bad, Saiken. That's not bad at all. I agree. Vigilance, I agree. Um, as the dog was just saying, in case you couldn't translate, hit the like button. Uh, that was doggo for it. So you wouldn't want to disappoint him, would you? Um, in which case, that's a quick episode for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.